You know, it's not real Chewbacca. They just paid some jackass to dress up in the suit. You recording? Get that. Yeah. That, I got it. Did you really? <laughs> Sweet. That's for all you ladies. Russ traveled all across the continental United States, folks, to spend his entire time in the hotel room. Biological one. Because Russell Lentz, he's a wild man, everybody. Look at this. We're going on hour six in the hotel room at Dragon Con. Russ, what do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> To definitely use better company. <laughs> That's right. The airport had these water uh, refill stations because you can't bring water through the Security checkpoint. had this really cool media center. You could watch TV on it or movies or play games. Really cool. Match the animals, yeah, yeah. It took me a while to figure out this game. The hardest mode is really the only one worth playing unless you're a child. R2. Yeah, there was a few of these R2 units. There were these really cool touchscreen interactive maps that helped you find the different events that were going on and showed you where they were and helped you get there by saying, you are here, go here. All the hotels had these. So, one, they're rolling in cash, and two, they, uh, I don't know, they must have got together and were like, hey, let's make some universal navigation system. Hey, man. I'm a nerd. I saw this artist dude who does live paintings on stage for music concerts. I got to see him draw some figures. I went to a bunch of panels. I was trying to go to as many panels as possible. Uh, Bitcoin 101, future drugs. Everyone in line was like, yeah, drugs. <laughs> Next, uh, NASA was there. No, it was JPL talking about the Europa mission. Or was it NASA? It was probably both. I can't remember. Battlebots. There was a live Battlebots thing. That was pretty cool. I don't know. The guy made fun of a lot of contestants, too. He was like, wow, you spent five years and that's what you came up with? Anime room. I spent a lot of time there. Maybe not a lot of time. I spent some time there. They were screening new anime. I found um, the one anime I can think of right now. It's um, Snow White with the red hair. Uh, Wayward Pines. The listing in the program said something like unexplained phenomenon. And so I was like, oh, that sounds cool. So I go to it and it's a sci-fi channel TV show that I've never seen, never heard of. And there are people from the show talking. And I'm like clueless the whole time. I still haven't seen Wayward Pines. I don't know if I will. That one was kind of a mistake, but yeah, it was nice to just sit at that point because there was so much walking during this convention. Automatic license plate readers was a discussion. There were some lawyers from the EFF. They think the data that's collected should only be kept for three years or something. A UFO thing, a UFO thing. Oh yeah, it's the first officially recognized as true story about uh, UFO abduction. Well, <clears throat> it's not officially confirming a UFO abduction, it's saying something happened officially. Last thing was a spark fun panel. Downtown Atlanta was so busy. This street I'm walking down was one of the less busy streets. <laughs> what 
one of my favorite parts, this Doctor Who ball. There was lots of dance-offs and positive energies. Had a great time at this. Pl oh, plus there was a Doctor Who cosplay contest. There were some great cosplays throughout. There was an Aqua Teen Hunger Force fan panel. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Um, the audience ran out of questions, so the panelists just started giving out prizes for doing funny things in front of the audience. Yeah! Show them how we do it in space. I know how to stick things in holes. <laughs> After the convention, we had a half a day to spare before our flight left, so we toured around Savannah with Savannah friends. There's this old cobblestone which is made out of ballast rock that I guess used to be used in ships. This massive bridge, I was blown away by this massive bridge, which we then crossed and got to experience so high off the, off the water. It's like this hybrid suspension slash, I don't know, mostly suspension. I don't know, bridges. There was a road in Savannah that is a racetrack. Like you can actually drive on this racetrack because part of it's open. The other part, we, we ended up coming up to a road close sign, but the road is a racetrack. You can just go drive on it. It rained hard. And then a subway in the Atlanta airport. And that's it. That's it. <laughs>